the nine on your side weather with chief meteorologist Aaron Christensen. Welcome back. Well, it certainly was a chilly day for us. We're now in the 50s, though. We were a little warmer than that. We have cooled off just a touch, but clear skies for the most part taking us through our evening, and we will be near freezing again overnight. 33 degrees at Tucson's airport. 66, though, is what will warm to by Friday afternoon, and again, mostly sunny skies. So this is kicking off a warming trend. We'll have that in your seven day forecast. If you want, join me tomorrow. Go golfing for a good cause. I'll tell you more about that in a moment. And if you're going to be doing some traveling, you've got to stick around and see my forecast. I'll even tell you if where you're headed to, you'll likely get a white Christmas. You might be dreaming of that. We've got snow capped Catalina. So for Mount Lemon, that is certainly a possibility in Summer Haven. Do believe the snow will stick around up there, but don't let that snow fool you into thinking our temps here in the valley aren't on the rise because they are. 63 degrees are high today in Tucson, but 52 Wilcox and in Safford, 53 for Oracle. That 63 degrees is pretty darn close to where we should be. 64 is our 30 year average. Started the day sub freezing 31 degrees. That is eight off from our average below our average. We do have a storm system moving into the northwest right now, kind of brought on a wintry mix of rain and snow across northern California. Now this storm system will likely stay to our north. You'll see a little dip in our temps in our seven day forecast, but honestly not having much of an impact on us. Now if you are going to be traveling to the coastal areas of Washington, Oregon, northern California, that is where you'll run into some rain and in the mountains that will change over to snow tomorrow. Now, Friday in the Midwest and Northeast. Well, that's where things are going to get a little bit trickier. Wintry mix of storms uh, of precip here as a storm system moves through the Northeast. This is going to bring on a few delays because of snow, potentially even some ice as the storm system lifts out, though, as we head into the weekend, a little bit better scenario. But that means that this cold pocket of air here over Bismarck, Minneapolis, that's going to be shifting with this storm system into the upper Midwest and the Northeast. So that 49 degrees in Chicago today will be more like 25, maybe 26 degrees tomorrow. The same for New York City and DC over the coming days. If you're traveling over the weekend, for the most part, the country's looking pretty quiet again, with the exception of the Pacific Northwest and also the Northeast could even have a few wind related delays if you're going to be flying in uh, to say New York City. Are you dreaming of a white Christmas? Here's the probability that you'll have one. The highest percentage color coded in the purple. So we're looking at the upper Midwest seeing certainly a white Christmas or 75% chance of that. Looking pretty good for the northern tier states for a white Christmas. Our lows overnight as we bring you back to southern Arizona. 29 Oracle, 24 Wilcox, 30 Sierra Vista, 24 Douglas and 32 Oral Valley. So a little bit warmer from what we were this morning. Join me tomorrow at 49er Country Club at noon for the Toys for Tots Golf Scramble. If you're not into golf, that's okay. Come on out, say hi. Just make sure you bring a toy for the Marine Corps. There's your seven day forecast. After 66 tomorrow, 69 Saturday, 65 Sunday, and Christmas Eve, 62, 59 for Christmas Day. Guy?